Hello dear 7th graders, welcome to this week's art lesson. This is Miss Maral here and we're going to practice one point perspective this week as well but with drawing a landscape. So last week we practiced some cubes, we drew some cubes with one point perspective and this is easier than the cubes. Okay, the materials we're going to need is a piece of paper, a ruler, a pencil, don't use a mechanical pencil please, an eraser, a soft eraser is also fine, we're going to need a marker and we're going to need a white out pen but you'll see that I use something else further on okay first things first we start with a horizon line it's a straight horizontal line around the middle of our paper it depends on your preference actually you can make a smaller sky and a bigger land so you can draw your horizon line way upper way higher on your paper okay this was the horizon line was our eye level and now we're drawing our vanishing point decide a vanishing point not exactly in the middle of your paper but a little bit uh, right side on your horizon line so this is the sky and this is the land now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some trees it's better to grab a ruler and draw two lines to define the top and the bottom of your trees And now grab your marker and start from your biggest tree you can start with a simple line and keep drawing the branches so this is your choice I am choosing to draw a winter landscape you can draw a summer or a spring one you can say that winter is over already why don't we draw a spring landscape but I'm going to show you here a winter landscape but just use your imagination guys do any kind of landscape you want Okay, I'm gonna carry on and keep drawing the trees near, going near to the vanishing point every single time. So it means that they're getting smaller and smaller each time. If you have watercolors or colored pencils with you, instead of using markers and pencils you can use color pencils or watercolors to do this, this landscape as well this is just an example for you to understand the idea behind one point perspective but you don't have to do the same so here I am trying to make my trees smaller and smaller every single time as you see I'm drawing the trees between those two lines I drew at the first uh, at the beginning and also pay attention the trees are getting narrower each time because they're getting far away from us near to the vanishing point and the very last smallest tree of mine and also the gap between trees are getting smaller as well okay so I will 
add a road right next to my trees so I don't want my trees to stand in the middle of nowhere I want to just draw a road next to them actually maybe trees are next to the road <laughs> anyways okay now I'm more or less done actually um, now I'm going to do some shading and um, adding some details so here at this point you can use your soft eraser to softly oh, it was not that soft careful try to not to do this okay now I'm going to do some shading I'm going to uh, do the sky darker to differentiate since this is a winter sky I'll do it darker here guys I have a softer uh, pencil which is 5B if you have a softer one it will be more helpful while you're doing this shading to this on the sky <clears throat> And since you notice, I slightly um, turn my paper to work easier. So adjust your paper, listen your hand, okay? However, it works easier. Help it and try to do the easiest way for you. Try to find the easiest way for you. Okay, now I'm shading the sky, so I'm trying to make here a gradient. So the nearest point to the horizon line will be the darkest. Because this is a winter sky, it's snowing, it's gonna be snowing. That's why I'm doing the darkest near to the horizon line maybe you are doing a very bright blue sky with some watercolor at this point i suggest you to look for some reference images from google and try to understand how it looks when it's very bright and blue is it the darkest blue near to the horizon line or maybe it's the lightest blue near to the horizon line I want you to research and discover it <laughs> again this is only a winter landscape you don't have to do a winter landscape actually please don't do a winter landscape try to find different ways to use one point perspective and try to discover colors and different shades different materials whatever you have at home I just did this because it's the simplest materials you can find okay I think I'm done with the sky and here I'm going to draw not draw actually I'm going to erase a sun a very dull sun So it's going to be lighter than my sky that's why I'm going to erase it instead of drawing it I'm going to erase okay since I have my light source now I can do a little bit of shading I mean the shadows of the trees so start with the biggest one and considering the angle of the Sun try to draw the shadows of these trees while you're doing uh, shading while you're using your pencil be careful and don't use your pencil like you use it while you're writing this is not writing this is shading so you need to hold the pencil far behind Okay, I'm happy with my shadows and now I'm going to shade uh, the road a little bit if you have watercolors you can just use a brownish color 
to define the earth. Again, as you see, I'm turning my paper to find an easier angle to shade. Here, I need another. Uh, I need another line um, to define better my road. I don't feel like this looks good enough. I'm going to make my road wider. You can just improvise. Add, uh, for instance, buildings on the right side or bushes or just. Let your imagination talk. This can be an area you already saw before. This doesn't have to be an imaginary landscape. And while you are shading, try to find different angles. It works your best. Okay. Now, I'm going to do some snow, I'm going to grab my white out pen, but very soon I'm going to discover that it's not really working that well, maybe it's because of my white out pen, uh, maybe yours work better, I don't know, um, but mine is not really working good, it's not comfortable to draw these snowflakes. And I'm thinking that what other material I can use instead of this pen. And I gave up and I discovered that I have some white acrylic at home. So I'm going to use white acrylic to do my snowflakes. I just need a little bit. So I'm putting it in a small container, a small palette. And you need to be careful to color like this. Start from one corner and go from the other coin corner. Um, because since this is a uh, wet paint, an acrylic paint, you don't want to mess it around with your hand. So go with finishing and if you need to add more paint to a certain area you have already done uh, don't try not to uh, put your hand on your paper so I'm just going to add some snowflakes here and there and I'm saying it again guys you don't need to do a winter landscape like this one. I just want you to use one point perspective to draw a landscape. It can be any season, any kind of trees, you can even draw mountains, you can even draw small buildings in this landscape, you can add cars, like anything you want, anything you have on your mind. The goal here is to understand the idea behind one point perspective. Use any materials you have at home. I'm just going to add some more snowflakes here and there, even the white areas. I think I'm, I'm about to done. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that's all for this week's art lesson. Um, if you draw a landscape for your own, you can email me. I really would love to see your creations. Thanks so much for watching and joining me today. And see you guys next week. Bye, guys.